What's up guys, it's your girl we are Kumo back here with another video. As you can tell, well not as you can tell, but well, you can tell. So, um, as you can tell by the title and also my previous upload, I have had my baby. I am, she was born September the 3rd and her name is Aubrey. Um, today I am four days postpartum. Yesterday I actually took a picture, so I'm just put that right there and I just wanted to quickly show you guys my postpartum kit and yes I will be filming a birthing story a postpartum update but yeah so this is my postpartum kit I just got this little box from Walmart and I keep it on the back of my toilet um and just to be clear this is what I use you may use different products or different things. I'm also showing you some of what the hospital gave me. And again, everyone's hospital is different. And again, this is just my postpartum kit. This is what I'm using for postpartum. This is what has been working for me. First, when I first was postpartum, I needed cool packs. And these are just the ones that my hospital gave me and two of these left over. Like I said, I used these for pretty much the first two days and after that I was perfectly fine. Um, and while I was in the hospital, they gave me these, which are your underwear. They're very thin, very breathable. Um, you will have a lot of bleeding, so you do change them almost constantly. The only thing I don't have that the hospital gave me is pads, which they gave you regular pads, like regular period pads, and they give you these extra long ones. Like, they cover you from the front to the back. They're really long and extra wide. Um, but as far as like wiping and everything down there, you cannot just rub. Also, your first pee have like leashing and stuff, I think they're called. Like little tears, little rips or stuff in the inside. And your pee does have salt in it. So, it does burn a little. I mean, it's not like a hurting sensation. It's, well, to me, it wasn't a very, very bad sensation. It just it was very uncomfortable. But you get a peri bottle. A lot of people use the Freedom Mom peri bottles. Mm, yeah, I think this is perfectly fine and it also saves you money to just use the one that they give you. Also, they gave me Dermaplast. I do still use this um, just because I have it and sometimes I do get a little pain. Again, I am four days postpartum and also we have these, well that's what I have from the hospital and then I just purchased these thick pads and also I showed you guys the hospital ones. They don't like hold you in, I guess you could say they don't, they're just very loose and just, but I actually use these which are adult diapers, yes, adult diapers. Um, these are the ones that I use in a size small. These hold me in a lot better and just overall they feel better. Um, if I'm being honest. But I did use the hospital ones while I was at the hospital. Um, and I did purchase tux. Because watching everyone else's hospital experiences, you know, they always have tux in their postpartum kit. I personally don't even use them have not even opened them once they're they're still sealed up like have not even used these and i don't think i will use these I just don't see what i need them for so i just don't use them but when I get to the bathroom, here's my routine. Of course, change everything. And what you do is you 
take your underwear and well first you go to the bathroom and after that you spray yourself down there then you take tissue and you pat yourself then before you get up you do your dermal class you spray that a little and you put on your underwear and, but before that you add your pad to your underwear and then after that you're good to go but if you're not a mom or if you're not about to be a mom well really anybody can enjoy this video i mean it's just an informative little video for those who are about to be mamas who are curious about postpartum care and just like to be informed i guess but I hope you guys enjoyed this little postpartum kit video. Um, like I said, I will be filming a birthing story and everything. We're still getting into the swing of everything. So it's going to be a little bit longer. But yes. And also, thank you guys for your prayers that you were sending my way. I did have a good and, dare I say, easy birth. But... Yeah, that was only by the grace of God because he blessed me with a good birth. And also, so far postpartum and everything, I have had a good postpartum journey so far. But like I said, thank you guys so much for your prayers and your words of encouragement. Um, I really appreciate it. And I do have a picture of my daughter on my Instagram if you would like to go and see a picture of her now since i'm not showing her in this video um like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment like and subscribe also comment down below what videos you would like to see me do and what videos you would like to see me do with her and i will see you guys in the next video bye